Hello everybody, I'm here with Wacky and Breitner today and we're going to demonstrate internet identity. Internet identity is an incredibly important part of the internet computer project. It's what end users will use to sign up and log in to hosted internet services. Internet services that are built with smart contracts and that need end-to-end -end cryptographic security. Internet identity actually has a pretty storied history um, at, at Definity. We've been working on it for a while. The version I'm so pleased to uh, have Wacom demonstrate today um, was really you know, rolled together pretty quickly starting a few weeks ago to make use of a new cryptographic primitive that the internet computer supports called certified variables, which in turn depends on um, key, keychain technology. So um, first of all, I want you to imagine a world where you can securely um, authenticate yourself to online services without ever touching a username and password and without, without ever touching cryptographic key material using just your devices. I want you to imagine a world where you can log in to internet services without ever being tracked across internet services. And I want you to imagine a world where this is happening with a far greater degree of convenience than with any kind of authentication system that you use today. Um, so internet identities uh, actually are just these like sort of telephone numbers, just some number that you remember. It doesn't matter if somebody finds out about the number, it's not um, security sensitive. The online services see something completely different and you can add different devices to these numbers um, and, and then log in from any of those devices. Okay, over to you, Joachim. All right, so let's see how that actually works, logging in with these many devices. So here's one of these devices. This is a fairly standard Android phone, three years old, I think a Google Pixel 2. And I will use that to log into the internet identity. So this is the uh, welcome page. And there's an option there saying, I want to register as a new user. I have to give it a name, let's call it uh, Pixel. And I press register. And now it's interacting with the device giving me login options that I can use. For example, I can use a screen lock. And this means I can now log into the internet entity using just my fingerprint at the back. The fingerprint sensor is a biometric device that's unlocking access to a key pair that's been generated in, inside a secure TPM chip inside the phone. Right, so the next thing I get to do is I get to confirm that I want to register. So I press it again. I have to touch it a second time, so there's two touches to register. And now it takes a little while while showing this nice spinner and it's doing a little proof of work uh, capture in a way. So this is just a little bit slowing down the registration so that we're protected against people overrunning us with registrations. And once that's done, uh, it tells me that I now have a user number on the internet entity. And that's the number you mentioned, Dom, that I should remember, write down somewhere, keep it around so they can always log in again with my devices. But I don't have to keep it secret, it's not a password. So after remembering that number or writing it down, I can continue. And now I'm logged in and this is like the main view and I can see that I have one device so far. So that's a bit boring, so let's add another device. So here I have a laptop. Uh, it's a Linux laptop, uh, it doesn't have any fancy security devices, but I have one of these security tokens, a YubiKey. So let me try to log in there. And I will share my screen here. So you see uh, Firefox on my laptop. I will say I want to register with a new device. So I'm already registered, but I want to add a new device. And this is the point where I have to put in my user number. And I select continue. And now again, a device dependent dialog pops up where I get to say, yes, I really want to allow the YubiKey to, to be used. And I touch the YubiKey once. And now it's trying to link to my account. It tells me a link that I can use on my other device, on my phone, and I could copy that. It's actually nicer to do that with a QR code. So I'll stop sharing the screen now, and I will use the camera to show what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm opening my, my, the camera of my phone, and after scanning the QR code, I'm now at a login screen for the internet identity. 
I can log in, which I need to confirm using my fingerprint. And now it's asking me if I really want to link a new device. And this is very important because if I just scan some random QR code, that might now be a problem. But I know that I really scanned a QR code to add the device on, a, on the device that I want to add. So I confirm that. And as I confirm that, and as I give it a name, we will see in the background that the browser window, once this has registered correctly, will automatically reload. And now we are at the login screen on my laptop. It knows my number. I can say login. And again, to log in, I don't need a password or anything. I just touch my YubiKey and I'm logged in and we have two devices now. So this is me adding two devices to my internet identity and I can add more, I can manage them, I can remove them eventually. And any of these devices is now good enough to log into any of the internet services that are hooked up to the internet identity. Yeah, this is so cool. So essentially now, you let's say you'd already um, signed up for, say, Open Chat using um, your, your, your phone. Um, and so, you know, you are using Open Chat on your phone. Because you've now added uh, your laptop to your internet identity, you could now also use Open Chat from your laptop too. Um, and you could go on like this. You could imagine a world where um, someone might, you know, uh, be using Face ID on their phone um, to log into services, the fingerprint sensor on their laptop to log into services, and then maybe their, uh, say, say a YubiKey too, which would en enable them to log in from any device that they plug the YubiKey into. It gives you complete flexibility. Using any of your, um, any of the authenticators linked to your identity, you can um, add new authenticators and remove existing authenticators. And thereafter, you know, you can act, you know, sign up and log into any internet service um, you like just using any of, any, any of your devices. So your devices are, are now the authenticators. And you never have to touch a username and password or any kind of cryptographic key material. Um, you, just, you just have to handle devices, which is absolutely revolutionary, not, not only with respect to improving the usability of online authentication, but also with respect to security. So um, we, we think people are going to be seeing a lot more of this. Um, I think it's a fantastic demonstration, too, of the power of advanced applied cryptography, because behind the scenes, this has been made possible um, by something called certified variables, which are in turn made possible by key keychain technology. So remember, you, you saw this for the first time today. Um, it's the work of the Definity Foundation for the Internet Computer Project. Um, enjoy, I'm sure you'll be trying it out yourself soon. Thanks a lot. <laughs>